First of all, create a new project. A drop down will open where you have to set up the basic configurations of the project. Choose a name for the project and select the HMI screen model on which you are working on. Also, you can change the display mode or the widget display size. Press the next button and at a drop down will be displayed. In our case, we will not change anything as we will only want to work on the screen as a slave. Press finish. A new screen, referring to our product, will be added to the main program. Press right click on it and select the attribute option. A new display will be opened. Then choose the network device setting options. Here you can see all the devices that the program is controlling. Press the add button and configure the new device. Make sure to select the HMI option and then configure the IP address and the port number that you want for your screen. Make sure to remember these numbers. Finally, select Modbus TCP as live for the communication protocol. In case that another Modbus device is connected, change the station number. You have done all the steps correctly, a wire connected to the screen will be added. Now, right click again on the screen and choose the edit option for the configure the HMI interface. As you can see, another window has been opened. On the left side, you have all the options that can work with a Kinko screen. We will use the switch option. Do not change the default values as we are working with a digital value and the LB option must be set. If you want to add other switch, change the address number. On the bit state option, you can choose how the switch will work. In our case, we will select the toggle option. On the tag, you can give a name to the switch. Also, we will add a lamp to check how the switch works. Select the same options as the switch. Finally, we will add the text input. In this case, choose the LB address type as the option to work with the analog values. Depending on the word length that you want, increment the word length value. Also, more aesthetic values can be changed like the font size. For checking if all has been done correctly, on the Tools option, select the Compile option. The offline simulation shows how the screen will be set and simulates it. Right click to close it. In order to load the program to the screen, select the download option and the tools menu. Make sure that the communication is set using the USB port. Finally, press the download option.